Hi, Steve Tenorello here with Ad Machines, uh, and welcome to my heating demand lead generation campaign. Uh, today, I'm going to walk you through uh, everything that I put into this season's uh, heating lead generation uh, campaign. Uh, but first, just wanted to point out uh, a number of the common issues that uh, uh, I'm well aware of, as uh, you know, through my experience of working with HVAC contractors throughout the years. Um, you know, during the season, you're going to run into uh, a couple of these different issues. Number one, you might have too many calls and not enough technicians to handle those calls. Uh, you may have too many technicians and not enough calls to keep them busy. Uh, you may experience low quality leads throughout the season, just uh, running calls just to keep your technicians busy that end up uh, being a low average ticket. And uh, you might experience, uh, uh, you know, different uh, cases where you have a technician driving 90 minutes to his next call. There's a lot of windshield time uh, just to fill gaps in the schedule. And this campaign is designed to really help you minimize a lot of those problems. And I'm going to walk you through that. This is the demand campaign. So um, really what it's designed to do, it's designed to help you capture the break fix opportunities, the emergency service. Uh, it's, it's those homeowners that in, are in the highest degree of pain and they need you right away to solve their heating challenge. Um, the campaign offers you flexibility in scheduling with the ability to easily turn it on, turn it off, to scale it up really high or to you know, keep it at a snail's pace just to keep uh, a hum going throughout the course of the day based on your capacity. Uh, it's heavily focused on mobile search. Eight out of the 10 leads that we generate uh, on this campaign will end up uh, coming in through a mobile device. That means the homeowner, you know, they, they took their phone with them to the source of the problem. That's where they conducted their search. And that's where they ultimately made their phone call. Uh, so a lot of what we do in this campaign um, really uh, uh, comes uh, with the strategy of uh, uh, optimizing for mobile search. Um, <clears throat> this campaign has been through the paces. Over $10 million of ad spend has gone, gone through it. Um, it, it, this particular uh, campaign build um, started in 2016 uh, and has over 500 top keywords, 15,000 negative keywords. Last year, there were about 100 uh, heating contractors uh, who leveraged this campaign to really help them generate leads. So it's ready to go from day one. We're not trying to figure out the industry. Um, you know, we turn it on and it works. And we customize it uh, to the specific client. And you can expect not to have uh, any low quality leads come through the pipeline. You may have some here and there, but for the most part, we're really focusing in on um, leveraging Google's new targeting options. So we're, we're avoiding uh, renters, we're avoiding low income households, um, and we're avoiding those people who are searching for your competitors, people who uh, are searching for heating repair for the Toyota, um, you know, uh, calls like that, the nuisance calls. Uh, we avoid that in this campaign. Um, so first things first, before I get too deep, I want to just talk to you a little bit about um, some of the changes Google has made uh, in the past uh, few months here. Um, they're really in uh, the, the mode of automating a lot of uh, the campaigns that we manage uh, to the point where um, uh, you can target better um, and, and really not rely so much on keywords um, as much as uh, what people are looking for uh, when they search. Uh, so there's a lot to do with intent. And with that, they have completely eliminated all of the broad match modified uh, keywords. Uh, those are the keywords that would normally bring in a good volume uh, to our clients. So we had to go in and really uh, take a look at um, all the keywords that were in our portfolio in this campaign and really figure out what were the top 500 that actually generated leads across 100 clients. And, and that's what we're coming to the table with, the, the right keywords that are going to generate the right opportunities. Um, so if you are um, going to launch a campaign that's even one season old, uh, you might have some old stuff in that campaign and you want to make sure that uh, it's been upgraded to the new keyword uh, format. Uh, next, 
Let me talk to you a little bit about some of the categories to expect in this campaign. As I mentioned, there's about 500 keywords, so we're really focused on uh, furnace repair, heater repair, terms like that, uh, emergency service, uh, emergency repair, um, all the break fix categories. There are at least 100 keywords where somebody types in, hey, my furnace won't light, the furnace is blowing cold air, uh, it won't heat. Um, it's overheating, uh, things like that. So um, there's a lot of troubleshooting calls in here to really help you um, get in front of those types of opportunities. Uh, and then, of course, people who are looking for uh, a local heating contractor. Um, so when we build a campaign, <clears throat> we really want to figure out uh, not only the keywords, but the second leg of a successful Google Ads campaign is the ad copy. Um, and uh, if, if you know anything about ad machines, we practice what we call handcrafted lead generation. So um, if somebody types in furnace repair in Google, we want to give them an experience where when they look at the search page, not only do they see your brand, but you're solving that furnace repair problem. Um, you're not introducing any other services like plumbing or water heaters or electrical or anything like that. It's just that one thing, furnace repair. And when they click on the ad, they go to the landing page that has the same exact message. So we want that consistency. And when we do that, <clears throat> we get much higher response rates, we get much better conversion, and overall, uh, a way better return on ad spend. Uh, because you're dealing with people uh, who have a specific need or interest, and we want to give that to them. Um, so. Uh, you can see when I build an ad, I'm using all of Google's available features in a very smart and strategic way. I have a direct offer. I have a, a, a layer of speed built into the ad, whether that's same-day service, 60-minute response. Um, one thing that we do with this particular campaign is uh, there are diff different timing options. So <clears throat> let's say you want to you know, book out in the morning and you want a really aggressive ad to start off at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m., and you want to kill that ad at 10 a.m. So the ad could say something like, hey, call before 9 a.m. for an appointment you know, by 7 a.m. or something like that. You can use time to your advantage in your ad copy, and you can really command the market um, by changing your ads throughout the course of the day. Um, you know, One ad I like to run is call before noon for same-day service, and I'll run that to noon, and then we'll change that out uh, to call before dinner time uh, for service tonight. Um, so it, it really depends on your schedule, when you like to run calls. We have an overnight campaign uh, that's associated to this demand campaign as well uh, that really will help you get overnight calls if, if you have an on-call technician and, and those are the opportunities that you want. So many options, we customize those for you um, and we build out the messaging. We try to differentiate you as much as we can um, there are a lot of different local things that we work into the ad copy as well. Uh, trust is a big thing. Uh, we want to make sure that we're promoting you know, your brand and, 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 and the positive experiences that other homeowners have had uh, with your company. So we take a lot of time to really learn about your business and put together an ad that makes sense. And by the way, what you're looking at here is an expanded text ad. That's the technical term for it. Uh, and Google is going to be doing away with that uh, after this season. So um, <clears throat> when I'm building this season's campaigns, I'm actually using Google's responsive uh, uh, ad, ad format. And um, <clears throat> what that does, the responsive ad format automatically shows the message that makes the most sense, that performs the best. So we load up Google with a whole bunch of headlines that make sense for your business, a whole bunch of descriptions and Google starts to automatically serve up the copy, the ad copy, uh, that performs the best. Uh, and that's kind of where Google is going, um, and, and really, uh, it's really helping us speed up performance for our clients when it's used correctly. Um, so with that said, you want to make sure, um, you know, as you get into AC season next year, uh, you're going to be forced to upgrade your ads for your um, air conditioning campaigns uh, using the responsive uh, text ad format. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, um, there are three legs to a successful um, Google Ads campaign. Um, the keywords, the ads, and of course, the landing page. The landing page is, um, is supposed to be your best performing salesperson. So the ad copy that we put out there um, for furnace repair, we want to make sure that it's very consistent 
with um, the same messaging uh, so the homeowner will take action on that page. And here you can see just a mock-up of what we're doing here for T-Mark, uh, plumbing, heating, and cooling in Buffalo. They're one of the biggest uh, heating contractors out there in that market. They're the official partner of the Buffalo Bills. Um, they probably wouldn't have been the official partner three years ago, but now they're looking good. Uh, so <clears throat> now um, it, it's important you have those three things. And that's just the basic blocking and tackling of any campaign with Google Ads. And here at Ad Machines, what really makes us different is um, we're taking it a step further. And over the progression of the campaign, and the average heating season will go four to six months. Uh, if you're in a colder market, you're on the, the six-month. Um, uh, side. Uh, right now we're in shoulder season um, and we're looking to really get in front of um, uh, maintenance opportunities and early sales opportunities. Uh, so the heating demand campaign really takes full effect um, in the thick of things. So <clears throat> when we look at a campaign, there's a very specific checklist that we follow uh, to, to manage it in, in, in the most um, optimized way to help our clients get better performance. Uh, so we take advantage of a whole different things. I'm going to walk you through kind of a day in the life of, of what um, I do on uh, my accounts here. So we look at budget management and uh, budget is a huge part of any uh, successful campaign. And the goal of budget management is to make sure that we have enough budget to run over the course of a full business cycle. Um, and we want to get in front of as many opportunities as we can. And we want to size the budget up appropriately. So here's an example of <clears throat> a market uh, report. Uh, this particular market um, is showing that I can spend up to $35,000 on heating demand opportunities. Uh, and with that, I'll generate about, you know, 470 conversions. Um, now, that doesn't mean you have to spend $35,000. It's just a matter of, you know, with that number, I know there's enough opportunity. So if I have a $5,000 budget or $10,000 budget or $15,000 budget, I can do the math here and figure out what is uh, the best budget and how do I size that up so it gets the best possible performance. And there's a few ways we do that. The first thing we look at is the location management. So a lot of our clients, they run on um, you know some pretty sophisticated software. Uh, Service Titan is, is one platform. Uh, there are others out there that you, you're probably used to, Successware, things like that. Um, and if you're just running on QuickBooks, you can probably get this information. But usually when I bring on a client for the first time, I'm going to ask them to submit to me some kind of revenue report by zip code or average transaction size by zip code. And what that tells me um, is essentially how I should prioritize the budget. I want to spend more money in the areas that make the most revenue, right? I, I don't want to put any money or budget into an area that doesn't have great performance or has weak performance. Uh, unless, of course, the client wants to grow in that area and then we figure out a strategy. But for a demand campaign, we want to match up and pair up the locations inside of Google uh, with how the company has been performing over the past 12, 18, 24 months. And, um, and we want to align the budget and, and apply percentages to those zip codes that historically have the best performance. So that's one thing that we do that's very different to a lot of agencies is that we strategically invest in the areas that historically perform the best and that and that works out very well. Uh, the next thing that we do is we're, we're automatically optimizing um, our ads. Um, so what you're looking at here is, is a three-way split test on a heating demand campaign um, and Pretty much the message is the same, but there are some minor tweaks to the headlines. And what we're testing here is in what position do we get better performance? And it's just a small thing that we do, but over time, it really helps us identify the ad that performs the best. And with that, you know, I can get more traffic and I can generate more leads at a reduced cost. So we're constantly split testing the ads. Um, the next thing that we're doing here. I'm going to get to this slide. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at device management. Well, I know historically, and I've been working with HVAC contractors for 20 years, um, 10 years here with Ad Machines. <clears throat> um, mobile has been the fastest growing segment uh, that we're working with. So, I mean, you know, if you ask me 
you know, five years ago, 50% of the leads that we generated on this campaign was mobile. Today, it's closer to 80%. Um, and what we want to do is we want to spend more budget on mobile opportunities because that's where the pain is the greatest. It's also less expensive um, because, uh, you know, it, it, our higher conversion numbers are on mobile. So if you're advertising on desktop and you're spending 80% on desktop but not 80% on mobile, uh, you're going to pay twice as much as your competitor who's running a mobile uh, a, a mobile heavy campaign strategy. So uh, we apply more budget to mobile um, because we know that's where the action is. And we create our ads to be very, um, very fluid with, with how a mobile device looks and feels, with the click to call and with you know how the landing pages are laid out and structured. And I'm happy to give you a demo, a one-on-one -on -one demo on what that looks like. Uh, but you know, this is just one other thing that we do to optimize a campaign is we're, we're putting more budget into the devices that work. Um, at the same time, timing. Timing is huge. Um, different, at different times of day in different markets, uh, every minute, every hour, there's a specific lead cost. So I know in Buffalo, the demand really picks up at 10 a.m. And that will go through about 2 p.m. And then it dies off around 3 o'clock and it picks back up around five or six. And <clears throat> historically, the market performs the same year after year, unless there's a weather event which will uh, skew the numbers. But in the, for the most part, there's an even hum and there's a measurable historical uh, performance uh, for time of day management. And what I like to do there is try to figure out, you know, if, if my lead cost is $60 at 6 a.m., but at 2 p.m., my lead cost is $30 because all of the competitors kind of gassed out of their budget fighting for those, you know, first of the day calls. Um, I can really pick up some um, inexpensive leads later in the afternoon. So when we look at budget, we want to make sure that we have enough budget to run over the course of the day um, so we can take advantage of the ebbs and flows and really get you a nice balanced lead cost. Um, you know, and a lot of companies will come to you and say, hey, you know, um, you know, we get you the lowest lead cost. You know, with Google, you can program, and you know, I can set up a campaign to say, hey, don't spend more than $30 to generate a lead. And you'll get $30 leads, no problem. Uh, but what happens is you, 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 you're not competitive, you're not getting the volume that you may want. Um, at the same time, uh, you may want to advertise in a different area and keep your guys closer together throughout the course of the day and reduce windshield time. So you may want to spend a little bit more on your leads um, so you can keep your overhead down on the business side. So um, there's a lot we do there with timing, um, and I can speak, you know, six hours on the subject and how um, we strategically use timing in different campaigns. Uh, audience management, this is the biggest growing segment other than mobile with Google. Um, I can target people, I can target um, ages, genders, household incomes. I can target people who are, you know, on Google right now typing in furnace repair and just have your ad speak to those people. You no longer have to run your ad to the whole world. Um, you can really just exclude different groups, different genders, different household incomes. Uh, you can exclude renters. Uh, you can focus on people who have a home uh, equity line of credit, who have recently refinanced their mortgage. Uh, if you're in a market where there's a lot of transactions and a lot of homes are flipping, um, <clears throat> you could focus in on new homeowners. In fact, I have a lot of uh, campaigns that we run to just new homeowners. Congratulations on your new home. Um, you know, this is T-Mark Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. We'd like to uh, offer you a free furnace uh, tune-up. Uh, so things like that you can really use to your advantage when, when putting together an ad. In, in, in terms of uh, how we use it here with heating demand, um, you know, we target people who are homeowners over 40 years old, have a good sizable income, um, and, uh, you know, they, they are in the market looking for um, some type of heating and cooling equipment, repair, replacement, uh, that kind of thing. So there's 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 a whole laundry list of criteria that we use when we put together uh, who we target ads to. Um, <clears throat> another thing that we're doing here is we are um, really 
uh, you know, following up on opportunities automatically. So if somebody clicks on your ad, whether that be a heating repair or heating demand uh, or replacement campaign, uh, it's important that we um, follow up automatically with that prospect so that, um, you know, if they got busy, they see your uh, remarketing ads pop up when they visit ESPN um, and uh, they give you a call. So um, there you have it. That's an overview of the heating demand uh, campaign. Uh, again, my name is Steve Tenorello. I'm the founder of uh, Ad Machines. Um, I work hand-in-hand -hand with our clients, We're celebrating 10 years in business. We're a Google Premier partner. We work with over 150 clients, mostly uh, HVAC, plumbing, and electrical clients. Uh, we specialize in that niche in home services, been doing it forever. Uh, we manage well over $10 million in ad spend each year, generate over 25,000 leads each month. Um, we have tons of case studies, customers you can call. Uh, you get dedicated account management. We work your account every single day uh, with our daily performance management checklist. Uh, we're always on top of it. That way, you know, you're never worried about overspending, not getting enough leads. Uh, for some of our clients, we log into their service management solution like Service Titan, and we make sure that the three-day call board is booked up. So um, if you're interested in uh, learning more about this campaign or any other heating campaign, uh, go to admachines.com forward slash demo uh, and look forward to connecting with you. Thank you for your time.